So when I run, <laughs> I think about so many things. The first few minutes, I'm like still thinking about everything. But as soon as I'm like five minutes in, I start thinking about God. I start thinking about the things that I'm grateful for, about my goals. I was telling my husband that for me, running is like meditation in motion. My name is Idalis Velasquez, and I work out because I love to feel strong, powerful, fierce, and also life can get hard, and this helps me stay sane. This is Workout for What with Idalis Take Two, Marker. I grew up in Puerto Rico, and even since I was a little girl, I was in love with sports. So I was always doing track and field, tennis, judo, taekwondo. So when I was 21, I met my husband, and then that's how I ended up moving to Florida. We quickly have our first daughter, and I still was finishing college here. Um, but then I started having a lot of complications and a lot of injuries. So by the time I was 24, I was recommended by two different doctors that I needed to retire from anything competitive, anything high impact. So after retiring, we decided to have another kid. Uh, and during that pregnancy, I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage and basically a blood vessel in my brain um, rupture. That really took me to a place of not trusting my body, feeling very sad, very weak. I encountered postpartum depression, which I've never encountered before. What actually helped me was trusting in God, praying like every day. And he was the one that gave me peace. So the day and the days after the brain bleed, honestly, were, were really, I had a mix of, I was feeling some peace because I kind of like surrendered to God. I knew I had no control. Um, but then I was also very, very, very scared. I was honestly afraid to go asleep at night. I thought, what if I don't wake up? Me, I was four years old and I remember um, my family, Edgar's family took her to with her, so she was two hours away, and I just wanted to see her, but there, were, there was no way they were gonna allow her to the intensive care unit. Um, after I got released from the hospital, even though it was really intense, I was, I will do a few steps and I will get dizzy, so I needed constant, like, somebody constantly taking care of me. I was not allowed to drive, to be left alone, but then there were also some funny things that happened, like, the things, stupid things that I used to complain prior to that, like, if my husband would, like, fart. I remember the first morning I woke up in my bed, like, he actually fought it. I don't know if this is gonna make it to the interview, and I was just smiling. I was just grateful to be alive, to even witness something that I I used to hate so much. Like, I promise you guys, I was just like a whole new level of gratitude. <laughs> that whole process of me regaining my health, it took a toll on my entire day to day. My body just became very, very weak. One doctor encouraged me to start running again, and I decided just to take action. The moment I started running and I started adding strength training and all these methods, I just started feeling so much better little by little every day. And that was personally for me, what helped me just feel amazing in a matter of like two or three months. I actually saw a few um, infomercials for Beachbody. I remember doing a little bit of Shalene Johnson Super Fire and even ordering Brazilian butt lift because being a Puerto Rican, having a good butt is important and I never had those genes. And I remember thinking, that can be me there. Like, I can teach people. I can be the first Latina trainer. I started using social media, sharing at home workouts. And then that led to me to enter a competition with Women's Health Magazine. They were looking for the next fitness star. Um, and then I created uh, All In 18, which was uh, the first bilingual DVD program in the entire world with Women's Health. And then Beach Body eventually, they found me. They were looking for the first Latina trainer. I was like, what took you guys so long? Like, I've been waiting for you guys to call me and it was just meant to be. So besides my job, the thing that I am the most inspired and passionate about is my daughters. Um, nothing beats that. I love being with them. I have a great time. They're all so different and they bring different sides in me. They're definitely the number one thing in my life that I, that I love and that I cherish. Am I a perfect mom? No, <laughs> but I do spend as much quality time talking, playing and just laughing together as I can and they just bring the best in me.
when you come like near death experience, you really understand what matters. And I live pretty much remembering that every day. My name is Idalis Velasquez and I work out because life can be hard sometimes. And this is a tool for me to help me keep my sanity.